How's it going everyone and welcome to a Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 video going over the Icon A5 cold and dark start to cruise checklist. Now I want to preface the video by if you want a hard paper copy of these checklists that I have created, a link will be down in the description for you to print them off and create a nice little booklet. It's already formatted, everything's uh, perfect in there. Everything is in color. It's got diagrams on all of the uh, buttons in the game. It's got all of the checklists, um, performance data, the aircraft specs, all that sort of cool stuff, and some cinematic shots. So please go ahead and download that. It's always great to have a nice little uh, paper booklet to increase the immersion, as I say. So a uh, little bit of background. I've created these checklists based off of official documentation released by Icon. Uh, that will also be linked down in the description if you want to check that out. That'll have additional emergency procedures, um, other aircraft specs and performance data, etc. I just didn't want to include it because it doesn't necessarily, um, it's not applicable to the stuff in the sim. So there's that. But also with that being said, do not use this video or the checklist that I've created as a substitute for actual aircraft training. These checklists and procedures are only to be used as simulation material. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get in to starting this baby up, am I right? So we're going to start with the before engine start checklist, and we are going to check to make sure the landing gear is in the down position, which it should be uh, if we are on land. I'll be doing a different video for the water takeoffs, landings, uh, short fields, soft fields, that it Thing. So that'll be up on the top right if you want to check those out, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, we also want to make sure all of the electronic equipment is turned off. So all of our lights, um, that sort of thing. Our master switch is off, indeed. Uh, and because everything is off, we can now flip it right back on. And the cockpit comes alive, the Garmin comes on. Uh, most of our gauges are up. So let's go ahead now and test the uh, panel here. We go ahead and hit the test button, make sure all those lights work, they indeed do, and all of our little warning lights down here on the gauges uh, all seem to be working as well. So we can go ahead and now check the position indicator, uh, which it is indeed in the down position for the landing gear. And we are going to go ahead, come up here and flip on, as I seem to break my neck, the fuel shutoff valve. So that completes the before engine start checklist. Now we're gonna start this baby up. So we can go ahead, turn on the strobe light down here, the first switch on the left. We're going to test and set the brakes. Uh, our parking brake is on when we get loaded into the sim. We can go ahead and take that off. Uh, test our brakes here using my uh, stick yoke and we can go ahead and reset the parking brake so we don't take off into the grass uh, when we start the engine up. So we're gonna open the throttle about half an inch uh, or about 25, 30%, something like that. And we are going to check to make sure the area around the aircraft is clear because our propeller for the aircraft is sitting right behind the wing. So it should be out of everyone's way, but it's always a good procedure to check to make sure uh, no one's gonna get chopped up. So we can now go ahead and flip the ignition switch to start and release as that engine fires up. And we're going to adjust the engine RPM down to 2000 RPM so we're not burning an excess amount of fuel. And we are also gonna to check to make sure oil temp is rising, oil pressure is in the green, and our water temp is in the green as it should be. So everything looks good with that for the engine start. Now we're going to get ready to taxi. We're going to advance the throttle to 2500, get a little more juice, and we are going to, our radio is on, we'd set that up, we'd uh, turn on our transponder here to whatever we need in terms of uh, an IFR uh, squat code or the VFR code, whatever, the AWOS will be recorded. Uh, we're going to set our altimeter, our button for that, or our knob for that is right here. And our reading, it's really small, but it is right here. And you read off of the top up here. It is uh, 2 point, or 
we just go ahead and leave it at that. We're not going to be talking with ATC. Uh, that's uh, something that uh, will be different for everybody, so I'm not going to uh, necessarily go through it in depth in this video. So we can go ahead and we'd also set the GPS up here. Um, can make another video for that if people want it as well. It's a new GPS system. Now we can put our taxi lights on and we can put our nav lights on as well. We'll check our engine instruments one more time. We got the fuel we need. RPMs are sitting solid. Our oil temp, oil pressure, and water temp are sitting good. Everything looks fine to me. So we can go ahead, we'll reset the view and we will turn off, well, first we'll turn off the parking brake and then we will reset the view and let's go ahead and taxi out to the active runway, which is right over here. I conveniently placed myself close to the runway so we didn't have far to go. Let's make sure to miss this guy up here on the pushback tug. Uh, and during our taxi, we're going to want to check the brakes and the rudder steering of the aircraft. Uh, so we can do that. We're already doing our right rudder here. Now let's go ahead and give it a little tap to the left to make sure everything's working there. Uh, make sure nobody's coming to our left, and then we'll just go ahead and try the brakes here. Those are looking good. So we can continue taxi on out. And do I want to take, let's go down here. Again, you'd have taxi instructions from tower, uh, or ground, I guess you'd, technically. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep ATC out of this one uh, for this time. Even though it's an FAA violation, let's just, uh, let's just pretend we're doing everything by the book. Right, so we already got that all done. When we get here, we're going to set the parking brake and start the engine run-up checklist. This is uh, something that was included in the documentation from ICON. I don't necessarily understand the point of it other than testing the engine, uh, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to go ahead and stop here. A little bit of a hard stop, I guess. We're going to set the parking brake. And we are going to advance the throttle. This might get a little loud. We're going to advance it up to 4,000 on the tack. It's a good reason for setting the parking brake. Let's go a little bit more to 4,000 and now we are going to move the ignition switch to position B and we're looking for a drop of less than 180 RPM. So you see our RPMs drop a little bit. We're going to move it to A. There shouldn't be a RPM change, which there isn't. We go back to B. There should not be a change. And then when we go back to both, we're going to restore the original RPM uh, that we had before. Uh, all lights out on the panel. Uh, engine instruments are still looking good. So we can move the throttle back to idle. And we can go ahead and switch that parking brake off. That checklist is officially complete. Uh, before takeoff, we're going to make sure all the flight controls are free and correct. Moving the stick around, making sure everything looks good to me. Rudder feels good. Let's go ahead and uh, check the flaps operation. Uh, so we can do all the way down to 30. Usually uh, on a longer field takeoff, you're just gonna go flaps zero. Um, I can hear the flaps going, so we shouldn't have any problems uh, with those. Uh, so what else do I have to do? We have the trim set for takeoff, which is at zero degrees in this case. Uh, we have the taxi lights that we need to switch off and we need to switch on the landing lights and we'll check the instruments one last time. Everything is looking pretty darn fine to me. So we're ready to go. Uh, we are going to take off that parking brake, which it is already off. And we're going to head out onto the runway. Line up for our takeoff. Now for takeoff, uh, like I said, flaps are usually uh, set at zero degrees. Uh, we'll slowly advance the throttle to max power. We'll rotate at approximately 50 to 55 knots uh, indicated airspeed. And then we are going to retract the landing gear at uh, a positive rate of climb. We are safely airborne. And before we hit 75 knots of indicated airspeed, let's go ahead, slowly push that throttle to the firewall and take off down the runway. Airspeed is alive. Slowly building that. Let's go ahead and start pulling back on the stick. Try to get that nose wheel off the ground. Keep it on the center line. And there we go. 
would give it just a little bit more, pull off the throttle a little bit, and pause the brake. So we'll flip that gear up. I've got that button toggled on my uh, joystick here. And during climb, we have 58 knots of indicated airspeed as the best rate of climb. I'm obviously above that. We would obviously increase our angle of attack to get that at full uh, throttle. And then you just monitor your instruments. And now we have one more checklist to go over for this video, and that is the cruise checklist. So let's go ahead and go over that, pretending that we're at cruise altitude. So we'd go ahead and we'd like trim out the aircraft, etc. Um, we'd set our cruise power however we want it to be, right? and we monitor the fuel and monitor the instruments. So that's all I've got for this cold and dark start to cruise video. Uh, there'll be another video posted for the cruise to complete shutdown of the aircraft, so please be sure to check that out as well. Also with the short takeoffs and landings and soft field takeoffs and landings, uh, water takeoffs and landings, this aircraft is very cool being amphibious, so uh, be sure to check those out as well. Uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Want to see more Microsoft Flight Sim? I love this game. I'm going to be playing a lot more of it uh, and releasing a lot more video content for you guys. I plan on doing guides uh, for startups and shutdowns for every single aircraft in the game. I've got the Premium Deluxe Edition. I'm going to go all out uh, with this along with doing some flights. So like I said, all the links uh, for materials, that sort of thing, is down in the description below. And until next time, peace out, guys.